Hello, this is Mr. Montgomery. In this video, we're going to be looking at some example problems dealing with speed and velocity. This video is designed especially for my physical science one lab students that are taking lab online to give you some examples to go along with what you're going to be calculating after you do your experiment. I'm going to put a link in the description to these example problems and to that lab experiment as well. Okay, for this first speed and velocity example problem, it says a person jogs a distance of 708 meters around the New York City block, returns to the starting point in 240 seconds. Calculate that person's average speed and the average velocity. So we're told right here that we have a distance of 708 meters with a time of 240 seconds. Well, an object's speed Speed is always equal to the distance an object travels divided by the time it takes to travel that speed. Or really, it's like I said, the average speed. So we want to take those 708 meters, divide that by my 240 seconds. And so 708 divided by 240 is I get 2.95 meters per second for my average speed. All right, now, if you're calculating the average velocity, that's a little bit different. Velocity is an object's displacement divided by time. Displacement means if you measure from your starting position to your ending position. Well, here, it says this person is going around a block, a rectangular block. They return to the starting point, meaning they started and they ended at the exact same location. That means this person's displacement is zero meters. They are zero meters from where they began in the first place. And so they're going to have an average velocity of zero meters per second. Now, both of these equations, speed is distance over time, velocity is displacement over time, both of them we typically abbreviate to say V equals D over T. Velocity is displacement over time, speed is distance over time. All right, but that's a key difference is their definition between these two. All right, our second question says, a toy car is found to have an average speed of 32 centimeters per second. What is the average speed measured in miles per hour? And we're given a conversion factor here that 100 centimeters per second equals 2.24 miles per hour. So in doing this conversion, like you will need to do during your lab experiment, you're gonna have your average speed here. Well, we wanna convert these centimeters per second into miles per hour. So miles per hour needs to be on the top of my conversion factor. Centimeters per second needs to be on the bottom so that they're going to cancel out. And then I'm just going to plug in these values that 2.24 miles per hour is equivalent to 100 centimeters per second. And so centimeters per second is being divided by centimeters per second and those cancel out. And so now I have 32 times 2.24 divided by 100. And so I get a speed here of 0. Point, we'll say 0. 0.72 miles per hour, my average speed. Okay. One more example problem here. Number three, it says a car cruises down the highway at a constant speed of 70 miles per hour. How many minutes will it take to drive 15 miles? All right, so think back a minute ago, we said that speed was distance divided by time. We're trying to solve for the time. We know the distance is 15 miles and the speed is 70 miles per hour. So if I want to solve for time, then I'm going to come here and multiply both sides of this equation by time. So that it's going to cancel out here. And then, now that I have TV equals D, 
then I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by the velocity. So the velocity cancels out. And so what I have now is time is the distance divided by the speed. So if I know I'm driving 15 miles and doing that at 70 miles per hour, well, what's going to happen here, the miles are going to cancel out. And so 15 divided by 70 is 0 0.214. But this is measured in hours. Okay? And so the question says, how many minutes? Well, now one more step. If I want to convert these hours into minutes, Minutes are going on top of my conversion factor. There's 60 minutes in every hour. Hours divided by hours would cancel out. So if we multiply by 60, then I have right here 12.9 you know, minutes to drive those 15 miles. So I hope those example problems give you a good idea of the calculations and the problem types that you're going to be solving and working out after you perform your experiment or as you perform your experiment. And as always, if you need more help, then feel free to reach out to me and y'all have a great day.